Hey everybody, my name is Duncan. I'm a data engineer with Westloop Strategy, an AWS partner. Today for our AWS Analytics Expert Series, I'm gonna be talking about how to make calculated fields in QuickSight. So why would you want to create a calculated field on your data set? You already imported all the data. You feel good about the fields that you brought in. What ends up happening, and this has happened to me as well, is you think you have everything and then you realize you need something a little bit extra to tell the story that you want in your dashboard or your report. Or your boss asks you for something that's not in there yet and you need to create it. So if you need to create a field in QuickSight, you're gonna use a calculated field. Calculated field just means that you're aggregating maybe one field, maybe you're adding two fields together, or you're trying to parse out some different attributes of your data to fill it out and make it a bit more digestible for your readers. So to do that, when you have QuickSight open, you can do it in two places. You can do it on the data prep level when you first imported your data, or you can do it on the analysis level. I recommend trying to put as many calculated fields in the data prep level for optimization reasons, make your dashboard load a little bit faster, but a couple on your analysis is not gonna hurt. So from the analysis layer, I'm gonna go to the top left and there's an add button, plus add. You're gonna click that and you're gonna get a drop down menu. There's a lot of different things that you can add from here. For right now, we're just gonna focus on add calculated field. And when this first opens, you're gonna notice a couple of things. Add a name, you're gonna to wanna to title your calculated field. It needs to be unique. Can't copy another field, QuickSight won't allow it. Under that, you're gonna see the area where you're actually gonna type out your calculated field. It has a little gray one at the top. For all of you SQL fans, this will look pretty familiar. On the right hand side, you're gonna see another grouping of menus. It says fields at the top. If you click on that dropdown, you're gonna see a list of all your fields. This is just a quick way to remember kind of what's in there and what you already have so that you know what you're trying to bring together. Under that is parameters. We'll cover that in another video. And then under that, you're gonna see functions. Functions are all the different types of calculations that you can create in QuickSight. Cool thing about this is you can mix and match these, use them in different ways. If you're looking for something specific, you can search it. Let's say you're not 100% sure what you want, but maybe something sounds like it's right. When you click on something, like I'm gonna click parse date, you're gonna see that it gives you the syntax as well as a brief description. Amazon was really nice. They put a learn more link. If you click that, it's gonna take you to their documentation, which gives you a fuller breakdown of how to use that function. So coming back to QuickSight here, let's say for this example, I have a company that does sales globally, and I wanna see sales from a specific segment in a specific region, and I don't want anything else. What I can use is something called an if-else statement. I use these all the time. They're very handy, something to have in your back pocket. So what I'm gonna do is type if-else, and right there at the beginning, just when I type in I, you're gonna see that a bunch of different options come up, the nice thing about QuickSight is it's gonna give you some suggestions. If else is at the top, and you're gonna see it labels them functions. Some of my fields have come up. That will come up later for us. I'm gonna keep typing if else, and I can just click enter, and it opens the parentheses for us. Next, I'm gonna type in the first field that I wanna determine, which is segment. All you have to do is type segment, and it already brings it up for you. And I wanna say segment, I only really wanna see sales from the enterprise. So that is gonna be a string within the segment field. To do that, I need to do apostrophe, and this is case sensitive. So if enterprise is capitalized in my field, it also needs to be capitalized when I type it in here. So I'm gonna type in enterprise and then close that parentheses. I'm gonna do the same for my region as before. But before I do that, I need to delineate a new part of my if else statement. So I'm gonna do and, and I'm gonna start typing region equals apostrophe. And again, I want just from the American region, but this is case sensitive. So I'm gonna type in A-M-E-R exactly as it appears in my field. That's super important. 
it's caused me some headaches in the past, so just make sure that you're following up on that. I'm gonna do a comma, because I'm gonna say we're starting the next part of our if-else statement. So if these two things before are true, then show me sales. If they aren't true, show me nothing, null. Excellent, so now I feel pretty confident in my syntax, but if you maybe made a mistake, as soon as you hit save, it's gonna pop up an error for you, and you can follow along to figure out what you need to do differently. I'm confident this is gonna work, so I'm gonna hit save, and it brings me back to my analysis layer. What you can do to make sure that it did save is on the left-hand side where you have your data set menu, you can search it, whatever you named it, or scroll through and find it, and now you're ready to add it to a visual. Thanks for joining me today. To find out more about how we help our clients use AWS cloud technology, check out our website, follow us on LinkedIn.